You're such an asshole. December, even though it's November, is go do all your Christmas shopping through Cappy's Amazon affiliate program. The link is down below to my blog, CaptainCapitalism.blogspot.com. Oh, that's not the Amazon affiliate link. You're right, because I would get my affiliate thing canceled if I did that. That breaks the rules. So you have to go to my site, terribly sorry, go to the right, look down below the Bachelor Pad Economic Advertisement and the Asshole Consulting Advertisement, and you'll see a thing called Amazon. Click on that, do all your Christmas shopping this month there, and then do the rest for the rest of your life. All your online purchases through my, Captain Ca or my uh, Amazon affiliate program. And then the old captain will retire even earlier than he was planning before. Dear Uncle Cappy, I like that, here we go. I'm a 28-year-old black male, <coughs> currently working as a medic in Austin, Texas for four years. I want to go into the military before it's too late and don't know what to pick job-wise. A little bit about myself, I'm about to begin my third year of school at Western Governors University. There we go, majoring in IT cybersecurity. I also have a few entry-level IT certs, CompTIA, Security Plus, Project Plus, Network, and CCNA routing and switching. I'm sure you're wondering why the hell am I not in IT now? Simple, I work a slow truck where I average two to three medical calls calls in a 12-hour shift that take on an average take on average an hour to hour, hour and a half to complete. So most of my time is spent doing schoolwork. It's a cake position. I'm writing you due to I recently found out that the military army in particular, the military comma army in particular will be conducting a pilot cyber program. It'll be the first ever direct commission program outside of medical law and faith for people with cybersecurity background. The program will be a direct commission as a first lieutenant or possibly higher. Spoke with a recruiter about the program and he stated that if I had a master's degree as well, the two to three years experience or a doctorate degree in IT, I could possibly come in as a captain, maybe even a major. My problem, I also was told about becoming an Army warrant officer for the aviation branch, and now I have that flying bug. Should I continue down the road to cyber or scratch from my flying bug itch? I do know that either career when I leave, I can easily get a job making six figures, no problem. I've also read your book, Curse of the High IQ and Worthless, and took the IQ test where I scored 132. Yeah, you can do it all, can't you? Damn it. That's the problem when you got, want to make a man miserable, give him options. Also, how much would it be? And I'd like if they respond to it. Okay, uh, regards, Fred. All right, well, here it is, Fred. I, we talked, and you did talk to the uh, recruiter. Um, didn't want to go into the air force. You want to do armies. You're young enough. And so I was torn. Here, you got, you got to do the pilot. You got to do the pilot because you're not going to have another opportunity. IT will always be there. It'll always be there. And on top of it, you'll just have to go because you know the nature of IT. It's always constantly evolving. You're going to have to skill up anyway. It's not going anywhere. Your opportunity, though, to be a pilot ends at what is it? You said the cutoff age. You talked to the recruiter was 33. I thought it was even younger than that, but I guess they're increasing it. Now's the time, dude. This gets back to the, you know, join the military while you can. You got that itch. You ain't got no, it doesn't sound like you got no kids or wife or any other, other obligations. Go become a pilot. Go do it. Um, what I would ideally like for you to do, though, and um, you got it. You got the ability to do this. You're three years in. Are you in three years or do you have three years? I'm about to begin my third year. All right, and you're Western Governors. Can you do both? You put that much effort into it. You got your certifications. You're starting to go into it. it in other words, you, you've come this far. Can you even go part-time at Western Governors while you're in the military and finish that off? Because um, the, the key thing you want, what, what will ha here's what I see it happening as. Let's say you double time it, or maybe just stay, you, you just keep going a little bit, you slow down, you're not going to graduate in four years, maybe five or six. You go part-time to Western Governors. You complete your degree in, um, in IT. And even though once you become a pilot and you go work, say, 15 years in the Army, uh, and everything you learn is going to be outdated, you're going to have to relearn, at least you got your degree in that. So, and then you, it, you'll you understand the basics and the fundamentals and it'll be easier to skill up, get new certifications, stuff like that. But when you, if all of a sudden you come out of the army, then you have this degree to fall back upon. Assuming you didn't work on work as a, as a helicopter pilot, you'd have that degree. And then uh, that's a good solid plan B. It looks really good on the resume. 
because I know a lot of people just want to cert out and test out and get their certification. That's fine. That's the way it should be, or you go to a programming boot camp or whatever. But if you got a bachelor's degree in um, uh, management information systems or whatever it's in, that they can't take that away from you. That's there. And then it's just a matter of you retooling up when you come out of the Army, assuming you want to go back to security. Um, otherwise, that, that dream or that hope aside where you go part-time, heck, military might even pay for it. Um, I would, yeah, you got to become the pilot because that opportunity to have the taxpayer pay for that and you become an Army pilot, a helicopter pilot, you know, not, oh, hey, it's the Chopper 5 News 9 at 7. Oh, what's going on, Frank? Oh, there's traffic down there and you just... As opposed to, you know, an Apache attack helicopter. That would be a little bit more fun. So, yeah, I was thinking like, well, you know, you could go in this time. It, nah, do the pilot thing. Like I said, IT would be there. And then who knows? Like, I don't know how much time you're going to have in the military. Um, that cyber program sounds really cool, but it sounds like it'll be there. That'll be there, too. Um... Yeah, but if I, if I did choose flying a helicopter or programming code or programming ACL statements, it would be flying the helicopter. It just, you have the intelligence and the ability to have two pretty good skills or at least a certification in the form of a degree in one field. So in case this goes belly up, you got that. And that's, that's um, yeah, because you already got these certifications. If you were like, oh, I was just purely in academia and I didn't get any, you got a lot of certifications. You got the ability to do it. Um, that... I, I would hate to let that go along the wayside. So, but yeah, it, it just become the pilot. Got to become the pilot. They'll they'll take you at thirty five and oh yeah, go program computer. You know, that's for old people. Wait till you're old. While you're young, go become a pilot. All right, that's it. You guys got questions? The old captain's got answers. As long as you do all your Christmas shopping through my Amazon affiliate program by going to capitalism.blogspot.com. Click on the Amazon banner. Give me fucking money. We'll talk to you guys later. Toodles.